Hey guys, Sam here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to professionally set up your Discord server in 2018. So to begin, I'm just going to create a new server here, and I will just go ahead and call it Server Setup. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to the Discord Experts Discord server, and go to the Get Setup Bot channel, the server will be linked in the description. Then I'm going to click this, I'm just going to quickly invite the bot to the server. So then once the bot is on your server you'll get a DM explaining how to use it. I've already done this and um, paid for the premium version so I'm just going to double check and make sure it's activated here. And yeah it's on the premium version so now I'm going to do DE exclamation mark setup to begin setting up my server. Just going to answer yes to most of these sort of get a basic setup going. I'm just going to choose community just to make it more sort of because it's going to be a community server really. Which is like community manager role, I'll set that up, NSFW, no that's fine. Age roles, no. It's like a staff lounge, yeah I'll make a staff lounge, just sort of fill up the channels a bit. Partnerships category, yes. Just sort of make it sort of a more full server, as you need, your server needs to be have like a range of different uh, channels and categories to make it more interesting. So this bot's really handy as it automatically fills out the partnership requirements for you and you can obviously change them to your liking. It also makes custom rules for your server and writes out your server's name in a cool format. <laughs> and then it, I've said yes to the game channel so it's going to pin the message of how to play each game into the channels. So after that you want to try and make your server more interesting. So as you see I chose the community server so I'm going to try and edit it to my liking. So for example if I don't want the community announcements I can just delete that and leave it to normal announcements and if I don't want the community chat I can just leave it to general what you can do is really just customize it to the way that you want it to be so you don't have to have everything set as default okay and now we're gonna move on to adding more roles so as you can see with the setup bot it automatically added owner admin moderator helper and community manager but you obviously may want to add more roles so I'm just gonna add a role for example youtuber if you're going to have, say, a gaming server and maybe some YouTubers will join, then you have a role called YouTuber. If you have more of a creative server, you can have roles such as, for example, artists. You can assign different permissions for these roles and you can have different sets of channels. Um, also, if you're having bots on the server, you would want a bot role. Just have the bots displayed separately from the users if that's what you want. So always take display roles separately for bots if you don't want them to be all together with all the members and that's basically how you sort of add more roles make it more interesting so then when people join they can automatically get these roles assigned to them so the final thing once you have your discord server all set up with all good roles and all set up properly is you want to add bots so I'm going to go to discordbots.org and find some bots to add firstly I'm actually just going to go ahead and add dino as dino is one of the main bots that most discord server has it handles tons of things that your discord server needs such as moderation uh, has games it has tons of stuff it's a really handy bot to use so once you get to this page it's going to press authorize it's going to ask for quite a few permissions but it's just all the features it has it requires those permissions and there you go so now I'm going to add down to the bot role I created so as you can see it displays separately from online I'm also going to add setup to that as well so now all the members will display under that and what, with Dino, you can also set up um, auto roles whenever someone joins. Say, for example, you don't want it to say online, like it did for I'll show you. So, as you can see, if people join, it will just say online. So, if you don't want that to happen, just make a role, for example, I'm just going to call it member. I'm just going to put it somewhere just down here, I'd say, or the easiest. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Dino. Go to auto roles and then I'm going to select the member role. And then that will automatically now, when someone joins, give them the member role instead of giving them online. So, some other bots you might want, for example, Boxbots is good for games if you want to have games on your Discord server or if you want to sort of make it more interesting for the user, which I recommend. Boxbot has some different varieties of games and different sort of fun commands to use. Also, I'd recommend getting Unbelievable which is a full economy bot, which is like blackjack, economy, it's really, 
it's a really good bot to have on your server so let me go ahead and invite unbelievable boat here and you see unbelievable boat also has like a ton of permissions but these are all just to make the bot work and it's a super trusted bot so you don't be worried about it messing up your server there we go I'm just gonna add box I'm just gonna add these both to mem two bots there we go and the next step would be to grow your discord server which I'm gonna show you in the next video so thanks for watching and please continue to watch in the next video in the series if you'd like to grow your discord server